I'm Bill Payne from Ardell Payne and Partners. We're consulting engineers in this area and we've been helping the community centre for a number of years now in um, expansion and uh, maintenance of their uh, facilities. But I've been working with Jim Beetson, who's the project officer on this, and uh, Sean and I have just worked out the details of this arrangement, demobilisation and uh, installation of the new screen over the last few days. But I've been working with Jim for the last uh, six months in working out the logistics of uh, the screen, uh, how it's going to, what we can get to fit into the old screen envelope. My name's Jim Beetson. I'm the grant writer and project officer for Byron Theatre. So this is the biggest project Byron Theatre's been involved in in the last 10 years. What we've discovered over time was that the theatre had two problems. Number one, when we bought the existing screen, most of our films were screened in stereo, so all we needed was a speaker either side of the screen. However, most of the films that we screen today are shot in surround sound, and so people sitting in the front row seats are actually hearing the stereo sound coming from very high above their head because the current screen isn't acoustically transparent. So that means that we had to mount the speakers above the screen because there wasn't room either side. The second problem was that live performers are playing from the centre of the stage where the speakers are well behind the microphones. So they were getting feedback through their fallback speakers, which the audience wasn't hearing, but the performers were. And the performers found that really irritating. So we corralled five audio engineers into this place, and the solution was to get rid of the old screen and to have two sound systems, one for performers and one for cinema. So now we've got three column speakers, one either side, of the screen, which may uh, be just inside the screen, perimeter and a centre speaker, and then we're replacing our current very poor quality surround speakers by new, better speakers. We've also bought a huge number of ancillary audio-visual gear, a vision switcher, so that people backstage, people in front of house, and in the bio-projection box can all see what's going on all over the theatre. Uh, so comms gear so that they can all talk to each other. We're hoping that this solution will solve all of our audio problems. Fingers crossed.